that and then it, well I completed the business and technology pathway and the problem policy pathway. Um, the topic that I'm going to be talking about today is customer service and why the like customer service is important in business. Customer service is important because if you don't have good customer service, that means customers won't keep coming back, and if they feel like you have bad customer service, they may, they may tell others about their bad customer service, which will lead to you having a bad reputation for your business, and people won't come and get service. That's why I like Nobody want to go next? So again, for those of you who are just coming in, this is all relatable to employability skills, which is our standard one across the CTAE board. So regardless of what pathway you're in, everyone has employability skills. Again, standard one. I'm currently in 3D pathway. My paper is time management. You want to practice time management because if you don't, you might be late for customers and they might be in a rush. Um, having time management and being quick on your feet basically is like it tells the customer that you're like a relatable business. No, not relatable. I mean, reliable business and they might end up coming to you more because they know you're faster. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, next person. Come on, Colin. 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 Come on, Okay, listen, one, one of the things I ask you all to do is be respectful. Okay, go ahead, son. My name is Antonasia. I'm um, doing the cosmic policy pathway, and the employee skill I got was communication skills. Communication skills are important because you have to always know how to speak to others in order to be effective. Um, communication skills, communication deals with like your facial the, the facial expressions you make and also how you um like how you look at other people's a firm handshake. It's all it all relates to communication. All right, next person from college college. D D D Y'all, let's create some energy for her. Let's, let's clap till she gets it. Woo! Woo! All about that good energy. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> well, I want to talk to Joe Fox. Okay, what's this for? Um, a lot of you going to have the same topic. Okay. Um, I'm Diawani, or y'all can call me D. So, um... I'm going to talk to y'all about cosmetology, and, you know, I'm in that pathway, and, yeah. I'm going to talk to y'all about communication skills, and, um, yeah, we're going to get into it. So, um, you need communication skills because, for one, if you're not communicating properly, ain't nobody going to understand. Nobody's going to, like, want to cooperate with you properly, so... You need that for one. Um, two, this cosmetology that needs you when you in cosmetology, you need communication skills because you may have a customer that doesn't like to be, you know, speak a proper language or something like that. You just need to be professional and make sure you you're like very how may I say it? Professional with your words. Um. Yeah, that's that's what it is. All right, y'all do what you All right, so we don't have any representation from Wilton. Let's go with uh, 3D. So 
walk it through to you. I'll give them, I'll give them all. particularly human services, there's a difference between customer service and customer care. You can offer good customer service, that's just doing the basics of what the, the uh, corporation asks you to do, you know, being courteous and kind and so on and so forth. But with customer care, you go over and beyond. You're actually caring for that individual. And oftentimes you know them, you know, you get to know them, your clients, you get to know them on the first, first and last name basis, of course. And sometimes a little bit about their family. Whereas the customer, a customer may be here today and gone tomorrow, but your clients typically stay with you for a while. So, good job, good job. Who we have next? Anybody else 3D? Think there was three people from 3D? Three? That was three. That was like everybody? Okay, all right, cool. Let's go with Nails. Someone from Nail Technology. Should have a topic on your table? Just tell us a little bit about it. And introduce yourself. that I got was business skills. Um, listening skills, I feel like listening skills is important. Listening skills is important with being a narrative because when learning like new techniques and stuff with doing nails. And um, I feel like another reason why you should use listening skills you know, or technology is because I don't know. What if you're not listening and, and the client needs a certain service and you do so oh, well totally different. listening to your well listening to what you say. What happens when you don't listen? Uh problems, conflict. Okay. Yeah. Okay, good job, good job. Yeah. Anybody else from Nails? Nice work. Mm -hmm. Oh, you? Okay, never mind. Come on. I don't even have any problems that I've seen. I've seen about to step into the real world. <clears throat> And they're going to talk about you. 
Introduce yourself. My name is Tad. Tad said from Barbara. Um, I got the word being respectful. Being respectful is why it's like customer service. You gotta be respectful to all your customers if you want to have a great business or be well known or be in the industry to make money or communicate with others and be a businessman. Always gotta be respectful just in case you gonna tell your auntie, granddaddy, their child about your business or your uncle. It's always good to respect. Okay, good job, good job. Awesome, awesome. So now, I like another thing he said. He mentioned clients, but it's more to being respectful to your clients. You want to be respectful to your potential clients, and who are your potential clients? The people that they tell. Anybody, right? Anybody can be a client. So. If you carry yourself very respectfully, then it's going to be easier for you to attract folks to your business. Easier to, to attract people to your business. All right. Uh, Y'all give Mr. Terrence another hand. Hey, uh, look, I, I didn't see that. I didn't see that. All right. Well, uh, see that. Marketing. Um, my thing is professional image. Um, having a professional image helps people like be able to come and find your business easier and having a professional image is something that you want to obtain and control over a long period of time because it will really help you grow your business and help people and customers and clients come to you. And if you have a professional image and it's, it's just going to make everything like, better and help people like, see who you really are. Culinary. <clears throat> While culinary preparing. Um, okay, uh, I'm, I'm going to do it with uh, Mr. Wright. Okay, uh, good. good. Y'all want to go to the front? Uh, culinary art, uh, being professional in the, uh, in the kitchen is very important. You want to look up the part. You want to dress up the part and you want to talk about the part at all the time. In the kitchen, you're either dealing with customers or uh, making sure that the food tastes good, that it looks good. Presentation is very important uh, in the communication field. Uh, we eat with our eyes. If it don't look good, we probably won't eat it. So, uh, so we, uh, our presentation is a very important part as well as communication.
All right, awesome, man. Good job. Good job. All right, workplace learning. Workplace learning. Okay, so we have one. How are we looking on time? How are we looking on time? 